Let's look into the eighth sum. Raju does not keep proper books of accounts. Following details are taken from the records. So there are two tableau columns which has a date on them. The first one is going to be the opening balances that is 1-1-2018 and the next one is going to be closing balances that is 31-12-2018. So they've given you a set of assets and liabilities. So this itself shows that the opening capital and closing capital is missing for this sum. Further, if you read through the explanation there, during the year he introduced further capital of 50,000 and he withdrew 2,500 per month from the business for his personal use. So when it's per month, you have to multiply it into 12 to show that it is for a year. And uh, prepare statement of profit or loss with the above information. So first to find out the capital, we are going to open a statement of affairs. So if we do that, there are two ways of doing in this sum. Either you can open separate, separate statement of affairs for the opening capital and the closing capital. Or you can do it this way. That is both the opening and the closing in the same format. So I'll show you both the ways. Whichever is easy, you can apply it in your sum. So first, let's as usual finish up with the liabilities. Now, if you look at the sum, I've done uh, three different columns. That is liabilities. 1 1 2018 which shows the opening balances and 31 12 2018 which shows the closing balance so as we post we are going to post both the opening and closing together but calculation is going to be separate so let's look into the liabilities the first liability is going to be sundry creditors so let me write creditors so creditors for 1 1 2018 is 1,30,000 and uh, for 31 12 2018 is 1,95,000. Next item is going to be the bank loan. So, loan. So, the bank loan for 1 1 2018 is 60,000. And 31 3, 12 2018 is again same 60,000. There's no change in the bank loan. It's the same. Next is bills payable. So, the last item for the liabilities is bills payable. So bills payable for 1 1 2018 is 1 uh, 80,000 and for 31 12 2018 is 45,000. Right, so that is the end of the liability side. So now let's move on to the asset side. So asset side also my format is going to be the same. That is assets 1 1 2018 and 31 12 2018. So these are three columns which I've opened. So the first asset is going to be cash at bank. So cash at bank. So cash at bank is 80,000 for 1 1 2018 and 90,000 for 31 12 2018. Next is stock of goods. So stock. So likewise, stock is one lakh eighty thousand and one lakh forty thousand. Next is going to be debtors. So debtors is ninety thousand two lakh. Next is uh, plant and machinery. So plant and machinery is one lakh seventy thousand. The same one lakh seventy thousand for thirty one twelve two thousand eighteen. Also, so we are gonna now do the addition part. So let me do that in pencil. So if you take the asset side, the addition comes up to six lakhs. And in this, it's gonna be five lakh twenty. Separate, separately, we are gonna add it up. So if I add thirty one twelve two thousand. 18 values is going to be 6 lakhs and when I add 1 1 2018 it's 5 lakh 20 likewise I'm going to add up all my liabilities so if I add up the liabilities here it comes up to 3 lakhs that is for 31 12 2018 it is 3 lakhs and for 1 1 2018 it is 2 lakhs 70 thousand so these are my total so now I'm going to compare them when I compare them my asset side total is greater than my liability side total for both the columns so i'm going to write those total down as the grand figure or the grand total so this is going to be six lakhs and five lakh twenty thousand 
I'm going to write the copy the same thing on the liability side also in the same line I have to do that so six lakhs and five lakh twenty thousand so now I'm going to concentrate on the liability side because my capital is going to come there that is my balancing figure is going to be over there because that is the least side side which whose total is very less so first I'll do 31 12 2018 so 6 lakh I've got from the asset side and 3 lakh is there for the liability side so 6 minus 3 my total is going to my capital is going to be 3 lakhs just mere subtraction next if you go 1 1 2018 is 5 lakh 20 minus 2 lakh 70 is going to be 2 lakh 50 So now we have found out both the capitals that is 1 1 2018 refers to the opening capital whereas 31 12 2018 refers to the closing capital. So both the capitals are in hand so I can go ahead with statement of profit or loss. So let me write the format of statement of profit or loss and then we can go ahead with the sum. So now we are going to do the statement of profit or loss. So First, I've written down the format that is closing capital, our drawings, less additional capital, less opening capital. Now, we're going to put in all the figures there. So, closing capital, I must take it from the statement of affairs with the column of 31, 12, 2018. That is 3 lakh as my closing capital. Now, coming to the drawings. So, if you look into the sum, the drawings is... Uh, he has withdrawn 2500 so let me do a small rough uh, column here so he has withdrawn drawings of 2500 per month so we are going to calculate for the year so multiply it with 12 so when you multiply it with 12 you get 2 5 is a 10 1 carry over 2 2 is a 4 and 5000 let me do a small working out for the drawings here itself. So the drawings amount is 2500 into 12. So when you multiply 2500 into 12, you get a total of 30,000. Why we multiply it is they have given drawings only per month. We are doing profit or loss for the year. So we must multiply with the number of months in a year that is 12. So my drawings is 30,000. So when I add up 30,000, so when I add up 30,000, I get 3,30,000 as my answer after drawings. Next is going to be additional capital. So the additional capital is 50,000. So now I'm going to subtract 3,30,000 with 50,000. I get 2,80,000 as my adjusted capital. So next my opening capital, I must take it from the statement of affairs 1 1 2018 column that is 2 lakh 50 thousand so when i subtract 2 lakh 50 thousand from 2 lakh 80 thousand i get a profit of 30 thousand so this is one way of doing the sum so in the next video let's see the second way that is we are going to split up this statement of affairs into two different things and we are going to do it separate separately so let's see that in the next video thank you